Welcome back, everyone. My name is Stolzi, and I'm here checking out the new character. What's her name again? Anara. Anara. Anara is the newest frontline to the game. She is the first female tank, and she looks like Nua from Smite, which is pretty dope. Thanks for the avatar. And Rock. I just want to apologize right now. I am dead tired. It's only 11 o'clock at night, but my sleep kind of sucked last night. So if this video is a little sluggish and slow, my sincerest apologies. Next one will be better. I swear to God, I promise. All right, so her legendaries. Mother's Grace. Earthy Guard gains 20%. Okay, first of all, this is, makes no sense to me at all until I actually look at her skills. So let's jump into game with her. I'm not going to bother with cards or builds yet, guys, because I don't even know what this character really does so far. And um, there's no point in me talking about it yet. Future videos for sure. I'll get down to the nitty gritty of the cards and legendaries and what the best builds are. For sure, that's future videos, absolutely. So stick around for that real soon. I gotta pick a legendary now, so I might as well talk about it. Earthy Guard gets 20% increased damage reduction. It's cripples now, and we're just cooling by seven seconds. I know this is her wall, so I'm gonna pick this. I didn't build a deck, obviously, and let's jump into it. So, she's got a spear. It does some long-range damage with some serious drop-off. Serious drop-off. How far does it go, though? And spread too, apparently. Oh no, no spread. Yeah, there's spread to it. Does not go straight. Unless I just can't hit this guy's back there. Oh, I guess it does go straight. This doesn't look like it. Okay, the spreads are relevant. It looks like it's spreading around, but it's clearly not. Well, she does have a max amount of distance, apparently. Or maybe she doesn't spread. We'll find out in the future. But yeah, the drop-off's pretty serious, but close range, I know she does a ton, a ton of damage for a tank. She can chunk. Look at this. Some serious DPS. 675? If my math is right. Yeah, 675 a second, something like that. I'm sure it's in the, the tips here. Let's check it out. 25 over 0.4 seconds. So every 1.2 seconds, she does 675. Pretty serious damage for a tank. It's like Makoa status. You know, she's gonna be really in someone's face. So just like Makoa, for the most part. Pretty sure she's, I think it's less DPS than Makoa. Pretty sure Makoa, she's a little faster. All right, that's her auto attack. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I like how, I just how it feels. It just feels nice. Reload's pretty fast. Pretty clean reload. All right, her wall. That's what my legendary's about, right? Her, let's check it out. Never mind. Earth and guard. Wait, what the hell is? Okay, yeah, earth and guard. Enter a defensive state. Last five seconds when you and your deployables take 30% less production. So that's her right click, right? Yeah. Nice little tanky defense, kind of like Ruckus in a way. Except it does make her deployables tanky as well. It's pretty cool. You can use that on her wall and her little rock she puts on the ground too, which we'll get to. Warden's Field. Place a stone obelisk that pulses, which slows enemies for 60%, which is a big ass slow. That slow is for real. <laughs> and deals 150 damage per second. So let's go over to this pip here and really check out the slow. Come here, buddy. Man, I'm tired. I mean, that slow is for real, guys. That is not a joke. Look at that. Uh, I probably can probably put it in a better spot. Goodbye. All right. Let's check out the slow. Look at this. Yeah, see, he's moving. And now he's slow. Look at that. Damn. That's for real. Big deal. All right. And again, I can make the, the stone stronger. It does have health. It's a deployable, which means you need a uh, bulldozer to take stuff out really quick from her. Her, this and her wall. But I'm pretty sure this here makes it stronger, right? Harder to kill when I got this defense going on. Pretty cool. Cool stuff. That that's a, It also falls right at her feet. By the way, you cannot just put this out. It's kind of like a whirlpool from Poseidon. Those who come from Smite. That's what it feels like and seems like for the most part, except, you know, this is killable. And it falls at your feet no matter what. You can't just throw it out there like Poseidon can. It just falls right at your toes. Pretty good for just being in people's face, holding chokes, holding the point, obviously. Just being an annoyance in certain areas you want to control. And for the most part, it's just good to fight in, right? They're slow, you're not... Slow them, beat them up while your teammates hit them, they can't move. Pretty much a stay on your ground kind of thing. All right, what do we got here? Impasse, deploy a wall that grows out of the ground in the last five seconds. Now this is her bread and butter right here. This is what makes this character this character. It's got a freaking wall, dude. Yamir is here, son. And I'm a rock now, and a girl. And with a spear. Seven seconds off the wall. Cooldown's pretty long, though. Cooldown is a long one. 15 seconds minus seven is math, right? It's pretty crazy. Now, I know you can get on top of this wall by putting that at your feet. You can use it to get up. You can jump on ledges that you can't usually get on. Pretty cool. Got some aerial experimental nonsense with the, with the tank. So you got this in Ruckus now that can get up high. 
I mean, I wish this wall was a little taller so you can get on ledges that matter for the most part. Most ledges in, on maps, you know, they're much higher than this wall. And also, if you look down and put it behind you, you can cut off paths, run away from the enemy. It's pretty cool. Pretty serious. You can strengthen it up with this. And that's pretty much it. That's our whole kit for the most part. Besides the lovely alt. Let's read it. Thor, your spear, passing through shields, stunning enemies within 40 units of its impact for two seconds. So it's a two second AoE stun. So it's kind of like a Thor alt, right? Which is pretty cool. You done, dude? I am not done. Let's <laughs> mention I am not done. I got a while to talk about games. <laughs> games? That's a, that's a cool looking alt, man. It's loud as hell, too. It feels strong. Oh, man, I got to build the alt back up to really show it off. Let's go hit some skies. All right, here we go. So, let's go on top of our wall. Look down. Big stun. Her audio cues are dope with this. It just sounds... It sounds epic. So, she's got a stun. She's got a lot of control. I mean, her alt is controlled. It's a two-second stun. The wall is control. Look at that. You can knock enemies off, too. Pretty cool. Control. This is control. Can't move out of it. It's really hard. 60% slow is a big deal. And of course, the damage reduction to damage reduce everything going on here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at her uh, in game. Let's go to a game here. Reduce the cooldown of impasse by 7 seconds. Easy. Alright, burn cards, burn cards, burn cards. I mean, she's very control based. Kronos is probably the card to go. Guarding yellow cards, if I had to guess. Let's do it out. 10% reduction on these. Why not, right? Oh, that's a weird looking wall right there. Cooldown does not start for the wall until the wall is gone. Off the map. Which is good to remember. Good to know. Alright. So this is a bot game, and bots are pretty damn deadly right at the start. Especially when they group up. Alright. Watch out, Kanessa. The wall here. Damage reduction going on. Get Knessa's face. It's Knessa. If I can hit a damn auto attack, it'll be dope. Oh, I looked to slow somebody, right? Okay. Just kidding. This is damn Brock Totem a little bit. Why not? They're capping. Pretty sweet. Easy triple. Did I get a triple kill? I don't know. I got in the zone with this character a little bit. Kind of get this mouse from range. Always good. Looks like they're all coming from this direction for the most part. I'm gonna hold this choke. Roll this broke off. Hit him with a slow if he wants to come forward. Let's pound into him a little bit. He is slow. He is one slow ass character. And some damage reduction. Why not? I'm eating all the damage right now. I'm stuck in this slow. The slow is for real. Holy oh, shit. Go to wall to block some damage. Get some heals from nothing. Just kidding. Okay, cool. All right, Captain Pagel, easy. All right, so Grover just overextended a little bit. Now he's stuck. Pretty much a free kill, All right? He's got nowhere to go. Well, that wall lasts a long damn time. Still can so she's just stuck. Damage reduction a little bit. Get my ult off here. Stun all of them. Oh, she damage reduction hit with an Eevee instead. Okay, cool. Could have walled. My wall was up. Pretty much as soon as that wall's off cooldown, man, just throw it if you're in the middle of a fight. Just wall off enemies, wall them in, you know, save a teammate with it, do something, right? Stop him from going back, right? Just gonna... Look that. There's no... If this was a real character, you would have no support from this. That wall lasts a long time. A long time. Damn. Look at all the ults. As soon as this wall is up, just cast it. Oh, fuck. Never mind, don't block yourself off. That's bad. I mean, she doesn't really have long range. I mean, this is it's kind of good long range damage for a tank. 300? Whatever. I mean. Bots are staggering at this point. Sweet bots. Why not damage reduction, right? This damage reduction is a big deal. How much does it reduce again? Let's check it out. 30% reduced damage. Pretty sweet. Hi, Grover. You get out of my face, son! Get back, you devil. You got no support. It's just you and me, baby. You and me, baby. Oh, that's a stun. 
Whatever the slow, she got nowhere to go. Walls up in two seconds. Uh, uh, go! Stop him! Okay, there it is. <laughs> Stop them, please! It would not cast. That would be perfect. Alright, let's get this Kronos going again. Pretty clean game so far. I expected more from these bots. What the hell? Bots got stupid in patch 45. Is this 45? I think this is patch 45. I don't know. I forget. So yeah, I'm trying to remember to cast this wall immediately off cooldown. Thank you for your help, that's what I'm looking to do. I'm not going to start a fight with it. Just try to throw it in the middle of a team that's kind of going in the same direction. That'd be pretty cool. So if they come this way, which I think they are, but they're not. Oh, that's a terrible wall. Yeah, mine. Come in here, get really in their face, and that's pretty tanky, especially with damage reduction. I can really get in their face and just drop. Damn, girl. Kinesis is going ham right now. Alright, one v one bot. Oh, my baby ain't going off there. Sorry, baby. Okay. Pretty clean, pretty easy. Alright. Cast is a little bit out. Okay. I guess I'll just do that. Try to do anything. Stop that route from completely. Look at that, Evie. What are you doing, baby? You're stuck. That's right. Slow the grubber down a little bit. Luke him. I do have my alt here. So does Brock. Let's hit it. Head stun. There it is. I did, again, I did not wall. I kind of walled. Okay. Hi, girl. The damage reduction. You can't really beat up a Cassie, man. She can't really do anything. Throw this and they can't chase me. And hi, girl. Got my wall back. Ah! ah, ah. That's kind of disorient. That can be really disorienting. Oh, sh. The damage reduction game comes around me. I'm not gonna watch out for that EV alt. Which this girl. Because of clones. <laughs> Get my wall. Pretty fine though, I guess. Guess he's not really playing. I'm on the heal. Oh, I'm trying to knock her up. I'm healing though. The walls are off and I'm healing by the clones and stuff. Get shattered. How oh, unfortunate. Oh well, this is bad tracking right there. Hi, Grover. This is my payload. It's pretty good for payload. I mean, they have to fight around it if they want to stop it. Alright, girl. Listen, you're hurting me. You gotta stop that. Break the wall at will by pressing the button again. Get the cooldown back. As soon as that wall is... That's another little tactic, huh? As soon as you're done using the wall, just break it. Break it. You're not getting any use out of it? Just break it. Here's pretty good. I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna hold it. Hold this angle, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna hold my damage reduction and walk away calmly. Just kidding. Coming back with a hot ult. Big ult there. Got my wall again. There it is. Okay. Cast is back and she's obviously pissed. Tell by the way she rolls out of base really aggressively. Okay. A little bit of that. Slow through the wall. You can slow through the wall. Easy. That's pretty big. You use your wall to fight. Use your stones to fight. I really don't want to end this game yet, so... I mean, they're probably going to die anyway. Let's try with the combo with the slow. Nice little rock out there. It's pretty cool. I mean, that game is going to be Slow goes through the wall. That's a big deal. So you can wall. Someone gets in your face, just wall the ground. Throw the slow down. Use all of that to kind of play around. Break the wall at will if you need to. Use the wall to block damage, obviously. Heal up. Save teammates. You do a lot with it. Walls are walls are more useful than most people realize. In any video game. Walls are so useful. They're ridiculous. If you can land a sick wall on an enemy retreating or just a save. Oh my goodness. That is... You'll see the value. I promise you will all see the value as soon as this character comes out on the real real server. And people start playing it more. So yeah. So her damage seems really nice. I'm not really sure about her tankiness. I mean, she does have the damage reduction. But for the most part, she does seem like she can be a very vulnerable character. She has no movement ability. And, and yeah. Just got to play a little more safe. Use your abilities to your best. And for the most part... It seems kind of like, uh, I don't know, man. I really want to get into people's faces with this character because that's where she does the most damage. That her, one of her abilities, you have to be on top of someone to use it for the most part, the slow. And at the same time, I feel like I could play back more with her. I don't know. We'll feel her out more. Yeah, just feeling her out. I'm so tired, guys. I know this video is pretty much garbage, but for the most part, I'm trying here, you know?
I'll have more videos with her with real people, obviously, in the future. She's going to come out next week, most likely. And I'll be playing her all day on stream, trying to break her down, trying to unlock her, if you will. Unlock her. I don't know how to six I'm so tired. Play her to the best of my abilities is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's pretty much it with Anora here. Once again, guys, I'm pretty tired. I'm sorry for the lazy content, but for the most part, I try to be the most helpful that I can be. Uh, more tips and tricks with the character coming soon. I promise you I'm going to figure this character out. So if you're liking the content or find it helpful at all, please like and subscribe. And that's it. I'll see you guys soon.